Hi and welcome to Inbound Explain. In this HubSpot tutorial video, we're gonna review how you can create landing pages. We're also gonna review how you can publish them and how you can customize them and check on the results once they're already published. So let's go ahead and get started. So everything that we're gonna talk about today is applicable for both landing pages and website pages, but for now, we'll just stick with the landing page. To create your landing page, you wanna go over here to where it says create, choose the page you wanna create, and then you're gonna see a pop-up where you can choose your domain. In our case, our domain looks a little bit weird, but hopefully when you set up your HubSpot, you set up your domain correctly. We're in a test account, so that's why it looks like this. And let's go ahead and give it an internal name. We're gonna call this one Inbound Explained Demo. From here, you can go ahead and select your theme. Um, and then with your theme, you can select your template. So with HubSpot, there are many different themes that are available. Um, you can, there are themes that are natively come with HubSpot and you can also buy different themes and you can also create your own themes as well. But uh, we'll go ahead and stick with this one. Once you've chosen your theme, then you can choose the template you wanna start working with. So in our case, I wanna create a, um, a landing page for an ebook, for somebody downloading an ebook. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this landing page. All right, and there we go. So now we have our template all ready for us to use. There's a few things that we need to configure uh, before we can go ahead and press publish. Uh, like I said, these landing pages um, come natively with HubSpot, but you can choose your own, or excuse me, rather these templates come natively with HubSpot, but you can choose your own. Let's look at a few of the different things that we have options to edit, and then we'll talk about um, how we can customize this further. So everything that you see um, here that looks like this with this bluish uh, bounding box are things that we're able to edit. Things like this that have this um, orange box around the content, you'll see that at the top and you'll see this there at the bottom, are things that we cannot edit because these are global uh, global things. So and no, mostly this happens with your footer and with your, with your header at the top of the website. Uh, but again, the things that we can edit are these things here in the middle with this bluish uh, bounding box that we see here. So let's just go ahead and get started with each thing. So the first thing that we see here is an image. Um, if you just click on the image, you'll see that you'll have all the different editing options that you have for the image here. If you're familiar with HubSpot's blog or with HubSpot's email tools, this will feel pretty intuitive to you, but let's just review all the different sections. So if you wanted to change the image, you could just replace the image here by choosing any of the images that you have in your files. You can add alt text to the, to the image itself. You can uh, configure how you want the size to be, to be displayed and so on. If you go over here, we have our rich text module, which is what we have, which is what you see here. Um, you can edit this uh, directly inside the landing page. So if I just type in hello, for example, you can see that I have all the editing options right here at my fingertips and it's super, super easy to edit that here. Same goes for this rich text down here. It's just configured a bit differently with a heading. We have an H2 here and then we have some paragraph text here but it works exactly the same. You do also have the option to edit it in an expanded view. So if you prefer to look at the text this way and to edit it in this way, you also do have that option. Um, additionally, if you would rather uh, edit the code, you're able to do that as well here. And finally, we have a space for a form. However, as you can see, no form has been selected. So what we can do is click on that space right here and let's go ahead and select a form. And we have our example form here that we can select. You can edit um, a few of the features here. So we could say download the free ebook now, for example. You can also edit how the labels are displayed in your form on this landing page. So for example, um, we have job position down here. Maybe we wanted to say job role. Uh, just, as a, just as a quick example to show you what you can do. 
And there you have it. I mean, really, the, the good thing about HubSpot is you can just kind of play around with it, see what the different features are. Um, but this is how you can edit the modules that come along with your chosen template. You do, however, also have the option to add in additional modules. So um, if, if there's something on the template that you chose that you feel is missing, you can actually go ahead and add it in. The good thing about HubSpot is it's all drag and drop, so it's really easy. So for example, let's go ahead and add in an image in this uh, area over here. Let's go ahead and just choose this image here. And now as you can see, we have an image of our cute dog here, and it's just an example to show you how you have uh, different options to edit, to, to add in different features as, as is necessary for your needs. One thing that is important when you're adding in modules or editing modules is you wanna pay attention to where you're dropping your different items. So let's go ahead and grab that image again. As you can see now, while I'm holding onto this image, as I'm hovering over different areas in the landing page, we're seeing uh, different lines appear. What this is, is this is a HubSpot's way of telling us where we are able to drop uh, this module. So for example, earlier I dropped the module in the bottom of the landing page, but let's go ahead and drop in the module uh, in the middle, just to show you what it'll look like. As you can see, this totally changes the way that the that the landing page looks and it totally changes it up. So you wanna make sure that you're paying close attention to where you're dropping in your modules. Let's go ahead and get rid of this section because it's looking a little bit weird. So if you wanna take a look at what your content looks like in mobile form, you have the option here to take a look at it as you are editing your content. So once you're happy with the design of your landing page, we can go ahead and take a look at some settings that we can configure. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're happy with the internal page name of your landing page. This is something that only users of HubSpot are going to be able to see. And then you also want to take a look at your page title. So on the contrary, this is something that users outside of HubSpot can see. And this is also the title that would appear if your landing page um, positions in Google. So you want to take good care uh, to choose a good uh, title. So we can choose a title, um, something like free ebook download. If you want to set the page language, you can go ahead and do that, but it's not totally necessary. Um, if you want to set the domain of your landing page, uh, you can go ahead and do that here. We did do that when we created the landing page, but just in case you need to change it, you have the option to do so here. And you also have the option to edit the slug of the landing page as well. So if you don't want the slug to be the same as your page title, you can go ahead and change that here. Like we can add in uh, 2022, just as an example. Finally, you wanna go ahead and edit the meta, meta description. So we can say, download our free HubSpot ebook, just as an example. And you can go ahead and choose the campaign and set the featured image. Once you have everything set up, I recommend that you go into the optimize uh, area. I really love this area because it's essentially a check to make sure that you've done everything correctly. So as an example, let's just go ahead and get rid of our meta description and let's get rid of our title as well, just to show you what happens. If you go into the optimize section, if you have anything that isn't set up correctly, the optimize section is going to uh, take a look and let you know that you need to configure something. So in this case, it's flagging our meta description. It's letting us know that we need to set up a meta description. So we can go back into our settings and we can set that up. So let's add this back. Inbound explained ebook. All right. So let's take a look again at the optimize section and it looks like everything is good. So we can go ahead and move on. Finally, you can go into your publishing options. You have two main options when it comes to publishing your landing page. You can either choose to publish right away, or you can go ahead and schedule your landing page to automatically be published at a certain date and time. 
Additionally, you also have the option to uh, schedule the unpublishing of the of the page as well. So this is really useful if, for example, you have um, a webinar that can only be viewed live or you have a special event coming up. Um, you can actually, after the event or after the webinar or whatever, whatever you're going to be setting up, you can uh, have your landing page unpublished right after that event automatically without you having to do anything. So that's also a really useful feature as well. In this case though, let's go ahead and say we're going to publish it right now and just to show you what the process looks like, let's just go ahead and publish this landing page. And there you have it. That's what it looks like once you publish the landing page. Um, it'll take you to this page here where you can see all the data about your landing page. We can also preview our landing page over here. This is what it looks like live. In fact, this is the live link. And in a real use case scenario, once people start to actually come onto your landing page, you'll start to see the metrics of that activity appear here. So you'll be able to see things like bounce rate, uh, click rate, if you have a form on the landing page, you'll be able to see some data about that. Um, and yeah, that's essentially everything you need to know about how to create a landing page inside of HubSpot. My biggest recommendation for you is to really just go ahead and go inside the tool and play with it yourself. That's really how you're gonna learn um, the tool the best. But yeah, I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below and we'll make sure to answer them. If you want to learn more about HubSpot's Marketing Hub tools, we actually have a one hour long tutorial where you can review all the different tools uh, within Marketing Hub. And if you want to learn more about inbound marketing or watch more HubSpot tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.